This is an example of motion perception uh, as it relates to magic. Uh, magicians, like it's said that the hand is faster than the eye. It's not true, the hands are really slow, but they can fool the eye with simple little tricks. I took a Sharpie marker and I made a black line on this pencil so you'd be able to see it. I made it on this side, I also made it on this side here. And you can see quite clearly that it's there. But if I give it a shake like that, you'll see that the mark actually disappears. It's not on either side. And if you give it a shake like that, it'll come right back. Now, uh, there is only one mark. It's only on one side of the pencil. But I'm fooling your eye by doing two things. I am rolling my thumb so it turns over halfway. But at the same time, I'm turning my hand over. So if you combine the roll and the turn, you can see how, I'll do it slow, you see how that black line will stay in your image. But when you do it fast, it just, the eye doesn't pick up that little movement with the thumb. Here's a different example. This is a Bic lighter, it's got the Bic logo on it. And uh, it's actually got it on both sides, just like the pencil. You can do that little twist move as you turn your hand. And it fools the eye. You don't have to be super quick with it, it's actually better to do it nice and smooth, nothing too uh, jarring, because that'll kind of tip that you're doing something. But it's just a nice little thing that anybody can do with a pencil, most of them have writing on them, uh, and you just turn halfway as you turn your hand halfway. Motion, perception, as it relates to magic.